I bought this little amplifier and it's the one that I power the speakers that are in my office. It claims to be 50 watts per channel into a 4 ohm load. So I thought I would bring out my gear and test it and see if that's actually true. What have I got? I got the, the oscilloscope. I'm going to turn that on. I've got the function generator. I'm going to turn that on. That's set to a 1 kilohertz sine wave. Um, and it's uh, 0 to 2 volts peak to peak. Uh, the little amplifier here is plugged into this little power brick. And this is really the questionable part. Because I looked this up before I bought it. And it's based on the, uh, I think it's the TPA3130. 16 D if I remember that correctly it's amazing anyway so the chip is good but it's the power supply that they give with it that is questionable I mean you need the power to get the power out I've got the volume turned all the way up to max I don't know if this is on or off because the light is on and I guess I'll find out in a second anyway so what else I've got here is I've got my power supply I made a video about this um, three or four years ago showing this. This is something I built a long time ago. But it's a power supply, like a dual power supply. And it also has this section in here. And this is a dummy load and it's switchable from 2 ohms, 4 ohms, 8 ohms, 16 ohms, and 32 ohms. Probably a bit more than I actually need. I only need 8 and 4 here. So I've currently got it set up to 8 ohms. And I also have my, uh, my multimeter here that gives me a, a true RMS uh, reading. So I set it to AC. This will tell me how many volts RMS that the thing is putting out with the sine wave, okay? But I got this camera looking at that. All right, so 3.6. You can see the, the wave on the uh, scope over here. What I'm looking for is where it clips. Clips means that the top of the, the round top of the wave uh, cuts off. That means that it's run out of power. Okay, so I'll jack that up. And here, it's right here. So that's 12.85 volts at the peak. Like I don't think, you know, no, it's just, that's where it's clipping, 12.75, you could say. So I'm going to take the calculator. Hang on, I'll turn that down again. This is into 8 ohms, by the way. So I'll take my calculator and 12.75 times 12.75 divided by 8 equals that's 20 watts that's 20 watts before clipping from this into 8 ohms so that's not bad actually that's pretty good so I'm just gonna I'm gonna turn that off and turn on the 4 ohm one and we'll see we'll see what how it performs into that because amps perform differently into different loads and this was rated at 50 watts per channel into a 4 ohm, ohm load. So it should still clip around the same area. And it does. I'm just going to get in here close. And it's right there. And it's 12.22. So back to the calculator again. You calculate power by you know, it's volts squared divided by the resistance, okay? So 12.22 times 12.22 divided by four equals 37. So you're only getting 37 watts uh, out of one channel, actually, using this power brick right here. It's simply not strong enough. It doesn't have enough voltage or current to deliver the power that it needs. So if you really want to get 50 watts per channel from this thing, you need to get a bigger power supply. Anyway, so that's about what I expected. The weak link is, of course, the power supply. Uh, with a better power supply, a little bit more voltage, 
a lot more current, you'll get better performance out of it. Uh, it's, it won't sound any better, of course. It won't clip as, as quickly, though, when you crank it up. Uh, I looked at the specs for the chip that they used here, and uh, maximum supply voltage is 21 volts. So if you got a brick that's 21 volts at, say, 5 or 6 amps, maybe 8 amps. I don't know if they make them that big. But this one here is like um, 19 volts at supposedly 4.7 amps. So, yeah, if you want to get the most out of a little thing like this, that you need a better power supply. Or you can just go with the one that they sent with it and save your money and lower your expectations a little bit. The thing sounds pretty good, in my opinion.